You are welcome to God's Word TV. Here is an online platform dedicated to spread kingdom messages to mankind. I believe this message is out to bless you. So go get your pen and paper. Let's go learn something today. As you do so, please make sure you subscribe. God bless you. Strong meter for them who are of full age, who by reason of use have learned to exercise their senses unto godliness. If I turn to God today and say, why me? It's, it's an embarrassment. Um, it's, it's, it's an embarrassment to his investment in my life. Not at this level. The difference between this man and this woman is that at this level, you should have gained mastery. The things of the kingdom, you should not be learning how to walk at this level. When you see someone who is, you don't put babies on wheelchair. But if an adult cannot walk, you put him on wheelchair. Nobody puts a baby on wheelchair and says, I said you should walk and you are not walking. Nobody prays for a baby for a miracle and says, rise up and walk. It is, it is allowed in that realm. But when you become an adult and you cannot walk, it's an attack. Listen, there are, when people say they are matured as believers, ask them, what makes you think you are matured? Say, I'm not a baby Christian at all. I'm not. Why? What makes you believe? Say, I've suffered in this life. No, that's not the reason why you are, you are a matured Christian. Not at all. It is true that the furnace, don't get me wrong, please understand this. It is true that the furnace of affliction can refine. But suffering is not the reason why you are a matured Christian. You may be suffering as a result of ignorant attack that you don't have the knowledge for. This person should be able to help this person in a heartbeat. This person should be equipped with such spiritual knowledge. Listen, if I come and say, Pastor, I'm in trouble. Like an encyclopedia should just open. Which mystery? is allocated to solve this man's problem. This is the justification for being spiritual. When you talk to this person and say, um, you know the way life is. You are supposed to be here, not here. This person should have at this point had a covenant with God or be connected to strong covenants that even where his or her personal faith fails, there should still be a way of routing results otherwise who brought you here who qualified you here are you seeing that a lot of baby christians continue to say they are much at this realm people can start falling in your meetings you don't need to get here right here in fact before you understand one impartation and you will use falling down and say watch Benihin is throwing people. Me too, I'm throwing people. We are the same. Whoever told you? Please understand what I'm teaching you. This is a refresher series that many believers do not understand. So the Bible says, I will give you pastors after my heart. Men of God, hear me. You have an assignment to build people sequentially. You must know what they are to become. Not hope that you are doing the right thing. Like an architect. When an architect is building, he does not sit down hoping that I hope the building is coming well. He has the master plan already. He's only hoping that you get to a point where you are able to understand. At this level, there is something you can tell God. That will make God act in a certain way to this man. That he does not yet have. It is one Lord rich unto all. But my brothers and my sisters. Something you have done. A process of growth has brought you to this point. 